it's Python of on hardware time. Okay, so this week, our Circuit Python community and Discord are are uh, connected. Yes. We, we do all the, we do a lot of different stuff, but in general, um, the the, the Discord server that we have mm -hmm. for Adafruit, yeah. a lot of it's used for developing this you know, language real time over the yes. last few years. So um, we always make a big deal when we hit another milestone. And um, one of the things I noticed is if you keep track of things, like uh, folks on your Discord server, um, if you measure something and you celebrate it, it just seems to make it happen more. It works up, yeah. So uh, 31,000 people, there happen to be five, uh, three, sorry, 4,500 and uh, 13 people online right now. That's nice. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, 31,000 thanks. It's super cool that you're all there, and we're going to continue to keep it one of the best places online. Um, you know, I'm, I'm starting to notice that other places online aren't as fun, inclusive. Um, they don't have moderators. There's... Um, it's, it's, it's a free-for-all. It's, 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 yeah. ter it's terrible. Well, it's like the, you know... It's like watching the news. Um, and so, attention, people want attention, and they don't know yeah. how to get it, so they get attention the And so place. I don't know... Well, I think the I think most of online is getting worse right now. I think we all... There's, there's going to be more tools, and people are going to just be like, enough's enough. Um, but I also know our communities that we, we're doing stuff are getting better, and I think that's, that's the... Um, I think that's a little bit of a challenge, at least for me personally, which is yeah. we... We do such a good job in our Adafruit communities. When you, when you start to go and you need to go elsewhere on the internet, yeah, it's like, oh no, no, oh no, this terrible. place is terrible, bad, and there's just terrible people saying it's you're the doing it wrong, place. yeah, saying you're doing it wrong, saying, oh, you're making things too easy. I'll talk about that later. But anyways, thank you everybody. Um, you know, there's lots of ways to measure yes, success. Yes, the Discord is a nice place. We have a great group of moderators. Yeah, and, and you can watch along and play along as we uh, develop uh, Python on hardware together in the CircuitPython channels. Anyways, um, so that's our big news uh, in the newsletter this week. Whippersnapper, official beta was released. We're going to talk about that later on in the show. Tonight, we're going to play a video and more. Um, sound reactive glasses, we're starting to work on in lots Python, of things. Yeah. Using uh, uh, num uh, our NumPy thing, our FFT conversion in uh, Microlab. Yeah. Um, and then uh, this is, you know, starting to see some trends here. Um, or at least they're more visible. Um, lots of entities out there that are like, oh, we need to do, show something with this Raspberry Pi Pico. They're using CircuitPython. So this one comes from Element 14, emulating Vintage ROM. Uses CircuitPython. Um, there's the Halloween Hackfest, DigiKey, Adafruit, Hackaday. Check that out. They're giving away posters right now. Um, I have one of the posters. Oh, yeah? Um, maybe I'll get it later okay. and I'll show it. But it looks, well, actually, you know what? It kind of looks it like looks this. It looks like this. Yeah, well, but like on it's, paper. A little, it's a little different. Yeah. Um, but but similar. Um, and then all the rest of the news, there was this really interesting uh, version of CircuitPython that helps with low power and... This uh, was just the most too Delft thing I've ever seen. Like having met PhDs from, from the, you know, Dutch universities, they're really good, they're really hardcore, and they always do something like really cool and their demos are awesome. So. Um, I'm not surprised. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is like totally their bag. And uh, yeah. it's always cool to see uh, researchers using CircuitPython. Um, there's a lot of computer scientists and engineers working on CircuitPython. We designed it for people who want to do CircuitPython as well. Oh. So, uh, Open Hardware Month, uh, Europe Python's ahead. Uh, here is a really neat um, CO2 and particle, per particulate, yeah. sorry, air quality okay, monitor. Okay, so pluggy, pluggy. Yeah, and this... Uh, this is really neat. Now it's in a Pelican case, so you can detect air quality and more. Um, just unending CircuitPython projects. Uh, this is a keyboard that specifically runs CircuitPython. Yay. So we're getting there. And then the last little bit of news, it, it, I think it's interesting, and, and it's more than just Python, but I think it, it shows yeah. where things are heading. So this is Blue's Wireless. They announced a board today. This is called Swan. This is, uh, they're calling it the most extensive extensible Tensible. advanced you name it it's the it's the best What's feather compatible on? microcontroller okay. on the market so um it's and built, kind of, kind of like this kind of cool like J, J tag swd design there and yeah and uh millimeters. you know okay. one of the selling features for boards is 
works with CircuitPython. Essentially what they're like, it's for ML applications, and it looks like they you know, designed it for their own in-house use with the STM. I'm impressed they found the STM. I can't get STMs anymore. The STM32s are, are not around, but yeah, 120 megahertz with two megabytes of RAM and 640K of flash. That's a yeah. good, that's a lot, actually. Yeah, two megabytes of RAM? That's yeah. a lot. That'd be great for a lot of applications. And uh, Fly from uh, Proof of Concept. Proof of Concept, Productions with Swan. You can see the little C, Circuit Python. C++. Uh, and then they, they put together a really neat video. Oh, interesting. Um, and uh, I guess I go to the blog post here. Yeah. Um, they just uh, did the PR, too. Yeah, it's a board. You can see um, all the different uh, things you can do. Oh, the feathers here. Feathers. Yeah, this is really neat. And, I'm so uh, glad I made an open standard that people can use. Yeah. And so, to me, this is just another example of if you do something open, lots of people can use it. And this is why we're seeing Feather. Uh, we had nothing like to do with this. It's like a mega power supply there. What's going on with their power yeah. supply? And they like have who? a... Uh, oh, and by the way, Ray Ozzy, I don't know if you all know You Ray know Ozzy. him, right? Sort of. You worked um, with him once or no? Something like that. Probably. A million years ago. Uh, I've corresponded with Ray. Yeah. Um, but uh, one of the neat things is... Uh, it has a video that came with it. Okay. And I'm going to show this video. Let's show the video. Because it's just neat to watch people do something. They have like a little circuit Python thing. Anyways, okay. so take it away, Blue's videos. And thank you for doing the pull request to add support for this chip. And thank you for, for making a Feather compatible board. Um, yeah. it's, it's cool. All right, here we go. All right, watch the video. Are your microcontrollers letting you down? Are you tired of bolting on integrated circuits and GPIO port expanders just so you can build even the simplest of projects? Are your printf debugging sessions getting boring, leaving you longing for proper step debugging like real developers have? C, C++, Arduino, CircuitPython? Can your development team ever agree on anything? Introducing Swan, one of the most advanced microcontrollers in the universe. These beautiful castellated edges provide access to 64 pins on the integrated STM32, supporting 20 communication interfaces. Skip printf. Join the modern age and step debug the Swan using VS Code. And you can copy and paste your code in any of these languages, because Swan will run them all. Plus, Swan is Feather and Featherwing compatible, so you can soar to new heights with the coolest microcontroller in town. Isn't it time? your MCU was as smart as you are? Sort of new heights. I, I, with uh, Feather and CircuitPython. I, I'll, I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's cool. All I love right. their like, little fake ad.